Mark's Reviews and Tutorials video. Today we're going to be looking at the uh, rear wiper on a 1 Series BMW. We're going to pull it off, get in through the panels and uh, have a look at how to make a repair on this. This side here, the um, procedure to getting all of this off is really straightforward. These um, little clips that hold your thing on, they are actually uh, securing these brackets. We do need to get this bracket on, off, um, so that we can then get that one off. So undo that screw and then the rest of it is clips. It'll lift straight off. Same on that side. And then here, you can see uh, the screws there and there, and uh, there's pins there and there. Now these, you just spin out and then get a screwdriver under these and lift them up. Uh, these are just a normal torque screw, um, but these are these silly little plastic clips. So you do have to undo the inside and then that'll lift out quite easy. And then everything else does just pull down um, and that whole panel will come off, which will give you access inside. And I'll show you the clips uh, on the other side of this panel. Side, we've got all those panels off. Uh, this big one has just clipped off um, like this. And we're in here now to um, where the wiper motor is. And uh, what we're going to do now is just simply take this out here. You have to take the arm off the other side and then take it off here with these two bolts. So it's a matter of um, clipping this cap off now. Finger under this edge and rock it forward. And uh, she comes up like that. And you can see the, the little shooter part um, stays in place down there. And then here is the nut. So we'll get a ring spanner and we'll take this off, take the arm off, and then those two bolts inside. Here's an open end spanner. And it's um, half inch or 13 mil. 13 mil if you've got a metric set, half inch if you don't. Those two are actually totally compatible. That's nice and light, it's normally tighter than that. But we take that bolt off and then we take the arm off. Okay, so obviously this is in the way of the bolt, you can see it there. Just give that a twist around and it, um, it's just a little clip on that comes off like that. And then the bolt will come off and we're also gonna need it off to get the wiper arm off as well. Okay, so when it comes to getting this off, step one, just lift the wiper up and uh, just see if it'll come off. Oh, it will. If not, step two is actually just to get a screwdriver into this gap here between those two and then just lever it just till it breaks and then Lift it off for the rest of the way. Now, now I've got a ratchet spanner. This makes this really, really easy. I'll put a link through to this sort of stuff in the description. If you want to have a look at some tools and also some parts, uh, I'll put links in there as well. And we undo these two. That guy. And that guy, 10 mil, did I say? Then that, the ratchet spanner's... Look at that, the ratchet spanner's not actually going to hit underneath the motor there. So we've got to use the other side of it. But still a 10 mil spanner. I'll always say this, when it comes to tools, have a good range. Don't be embarrassed about getting extra tools. The money you're saving, you can easily pay for it because um, you're always going to get a bolt like this that all of a sudden your combination ratchet won't fit onto. So you just need a good option, sockets and spanners and ring spanners and all sorts. So there you go. There's a good excuse. Mark said, buy more tools. And then last but not least, there's actually a third bolt up here above the motor to get as well. So there's one below, one there, and then one on the other side. Of course, the further testing on this motor, to find out what's wrong, uh, to see if there's electric current coming through or not, um, is just to get a multimeter and check this to see if there's some power and earth or DC current coming through for both the washer and the um, wiper motor. So you can check if there's power coming through. You see there's um, two browns and a blue. So I'm thinking the little one's gonna be the washer, big one's gonna be the wiper, and this will be the the um, negative, positive and negative. So we'll see on that um, because it's not buzzing. I've gone and turned the wiper on and it's not um, making any noise or buzzing. What I've heard from my research is that um, these get all gummed up inside because the water here actually shoots through um, the middle that can leak and it causes all this grease to bind up. Um, so all of a sudden it can't turn anymore. So the secret is to open all this up, clean it all up um, and then it'll work again. But uh, also, if that doesn't fix it, or if that's not the issue, you've got to make sure there's power coming through. I've already checked the fuses. I did that at the start. Have a look at this video up here, where are the fuses on a one series, um, if you want to find the fuse location. So I started with that, um, and the wiper, the washer, sorry, is working, so I don't believe it's a fuse. Okay, so I've got all the bolts out. I've pulled the tube off here. It's just a press fit, just give it a wiggle and pull it out, and then, over that edge hopefully there we go the motor is out so uh, now that we've got this guy out 
we can uh, pull it apart, have a look inside, and see if it's all jammed up. You see here, there's just torque screws to open that up, so I'll open those up and I'll show you what's inside. 